Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at Saban's Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger from Hasbro. Go, go, All right, so this, of course, is Kimberly Hart, played by Amy Jo Johnson from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV series. Who else had a huge crush on Kimberly growing up? Come on, come on, raise your hands. For many kids, Amy Jo Johnson was their first crush. Many a boys fantasized about her back in the day. And so I found this at Walmart. 20 bucks, uh, same as the Black Ranger. Now, as I've said in the Black Ranger review, I'm only going to be collecting Zordon era Power Rangers figures because that was the era that I grew up with. It is your duty as a Power Ranger to save the universe. Now is the time. <gasps> 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 Um, and if I were to collect all the different Power Rangers that come out, I would go broke really quickly. Because there's, what, over 20 seasons now? Something like that? Um, I can't even keep up. And now I think Hasbro is going to be rebooting the series. Uh, so that that's going to be cool. I hope they make it animated. And I hope they kind of ba uh, take from the Boom Studios... Uh, comics and bring in lord drake on lord drake on uh, ranger slayer the original rangers from the 70s uh and all that i think that would be really cool to see and then w there's so many stories that can be told with the, from the mighty morphin era that they could keep it going and not even not even change up the roster for quite a while because of course the mighty morphin era is the was the most popular era of power rangers so anyway let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at kimberly all right guys and here we have that cute little pink ranger oh no, you think she's cute too huh? so <clears throat> real quick before we uh put show you everything let's see how she stands up against the black ranger with his dragon shield and they look really nice together. One thing I kind of wish that Hasbro would have done, which I mentioned in the Black Ranger review, is I wish they could have made the Dragon Shield removable so that we could put it on the other figures if we wanted to. I think that'd be really, really cool. And uh, just for another look to see how it stands up against other Hasbro figures, let's bring in Peter Bankman from the Ghostbusters Plasma series. And it looks like they're pretty much the same scale. They really look good together. Um, same style packaging almost, uh, at least on the inside, only it's not a clamshell. Um, just a single plastic mold and that's it holding him in <clears throat> so let's go ahead and move peter back out of the way and we'll move zach out of the way for now and we'll take a look at the pink ranger so <clears throat> just like with the black ranger they got all the detail correct on this figure uh four diamonds on her the gauntlet of the, her gloves and boots four diamonds uh some figures um from the past they'll either just put one diamond or they'll put way too many diamonds um <clears throat> and a lot of the older figures will also have an extra diamond in the back instead of 
making it look like a vest almost. So, <clears throat> as for articulation, the head is on a hinged ball joint. Look up that far. Look down that far. Look side, side. You can't tilt it really on the sides, but it does spin all the way around. And that's because you can remove the head, which I'll get into here in just a little bit. But the arms, they go then go up to there unless you do that. And it is on a butterfly joint in the shoulder blade area, which is cool. So you can, so you can bring it back like that. Uh, no bicep swivel, but it is on a hinged ball joint at the elbow. And the hands are also on a hinged peg joint. And that's because it comes with two extra hands, which we'll get into in here in a little bit. It does have an ab crunch and the uh, waist articulation, waist swivel is actually at that ab crunch just like with the Black Ranger. Uh, it has thigh swivel, and the legs can go up to there. Uh, not back really, but the skirt is made out of rubber, a very rubbery plastic, so it does not hinder the articulation at all. Uh, the butt though does um, hinder the articulation, so no back kicks. It has a double hinge at the knee, And it does have boot swivel and an ankle tilt and rocker. So that's it for articulation. Uh, once again, the belt, um, it looks like the belt is connected to the skirt separately. The skirt and the belt are separate from the rest of the figure. Uh, however, they can't be removed, I don't believe. Um, I don't think that these come apart like some of the, like the Masters of the Universe figures. But if we, we can change out the hands, she comes with a karate chop action right hand and a fist in her left hand, as her left hand. But go ahead and swap that back out because we're gonna need this hand for her bow, her power bow. Uh, but before we do that, she comes with, just like with Zach, power blaster, which goes right in there. And just like with Zach, this power blaster does not uh, change into the um, little sword, blade, whatever you wanna call it. Um, that they were able to use in the early seasons. Um, and then her helmet comes off. And real quick, just for fun, before we show you Kimberly's head, just for fun. <laughs> show you that. <laughs> So the heads are swappable. <laughs> so there's a uh, Zach Walter Emanuel Jones as the Pink Ranger. <laughs> we'll take that back off and we'll snap her head on. As you can see, there's the ball, just pegs on there. Just like that. And there's Kimberly Hart, played by Amy Jo Johnson, the Pink Ranger. And that's not a great likeness of her. I mean, you can kind of see it at the side a little bit, uh, but the front, mm, not really that great of a likeness of her. But 
we're going to go ahead and take that off. We're going to put her helmet back on. And we're going to look at the power bow. So, I think, no. Power bow goes like this. Now, usually, if you're right-handed, you would, I want to say you, wanna, you would pull the string with your right hand. But, that's not the case here, for whatever reason. So, maybe Kimberly is left-handed. I'm not sure. And it just sets in her fingers this part sets in between these two fingers like that and there's that now <clears throat> I guess This one doesn't really look, well, there we go. The, uh, the power action, I guess you want to call it. And that stays pretty well. But one thing I want to see real quick, we'll go ahead and get started on bringing them together. We got the power axe and we got the power bow. And what you got to do in order to bring these together, you got to pull this back, slide this, in, slide the bow in there and then slide that towards it. And it kind of, kind of locks in place, I guess, just like that. And then eventually we'll add the power, uh, power daggers, power lance, and the power sword. So anyway, there you have it guys. This has been Come Again Review on the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Mighty Morphin Pink Ranger. And if you missed the review on the Black Ranger with the Dragon Shield, I'll put the link at the end of the video. So anyway, I've been Shannon. This has been Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.